Breaking news. Peter Obi is not a member of the Labour Party. Tinibu presents evidence at tribunal. Hey, my country people. It seems that the game has just started. Oh, this is interesting. Now, the tribunal is on fire as Tinibu presents evidence at the tribunal. You know, Ashiwaju Bola Admiral Tinibu now stands to defend his mandate at the tribunal. He is facing Peter B at the moment and also disclosed that Peter B is not a bona fide member of the Labour Party and has tendered concrete evidence against Peter B saying that he is not the member of the Labour Party and as such he wasn't even qualified in the first place to contest the February 25th, 2023 presidential election on behalf of the party. Let's find out more as we hit the news. But if you're joining us for the first time, you're very much welcome. I sincerely appreciate your presence. Kindly subscribe and please don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Thank you. President Bola Tinibu and the Vice President Kesim Shetima submitted a copy of the Labour Party membership register for Anambra State as evidence to support their claim that Peter Obi is not a registered member of the party. Politics Nigeria reports that Tinibu and Shetima, in response to the petition filed by Obi and the Labour Party, said that Obi, who's allegedly who allegedly wasn't a party member during the last presidential election was ineligible to contest the election under the PDP banner. And during the defense proceedings at the presidential election petition tribunal, their legal representative, Chief Wale Olanikbekun San, had represented the membership register along with a letter from the Labour Party dated April 25th, 2022, which was addressed to the chairman of the Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC, as supporting documents. Although objections were being raised by the petitioner's lawyer, Mr. Uh, Levy Uzokwe and San, then the court admitted the document as exhibit RA17 and RA18. Hey, my country people, this is getting serious. I mean, this case in court is getting tougher and tougher as the day goes by. Now you see how T uh, Tinibu, they are bringing up evidences against Peter Obi. And I've made it known that Peter Obi was never a bona fide member of the Labour Party. So as such, Peter B was not even qualified to even, you know, run for presidency under the Labour Party. Now, Mr. Peter B, they have made it known that at the time of, you know, his alleged sponsorship, that he lacked, you know, the local standee to challenge the victory of Ashiweju Bollard Metinibu, being that He's not even supposed to contest in the election. So why would he come out and point fingers at Ashiweju Bola and Martinibu? Now my country people, the Labour Party have argued that Peter O.B. was not a member of the Labour Party at least 30 days before the presidential primary to be validly sponsored by the party. The opposition, uh, the position of the APC is contained in a noticed whereby the Labour Party had filed a petition against uh, Ashiweju Bollard Mertinibu. So my country people, Obi and his political platform had filed a petition at the tribunal against uh, Tinibu, against Katim Shatima and Ainek. But now Tinibu is defending himself. You know, Peter Obi came toward uh, with about 6 million votes in the last election. Now, the Labour Party and Obi and other petitioners, they are seeking the uh, the nullification of the election victory of Ashiweju Bolad Martinibu and Kasim Shetima in the presidential election. You see, Peter Obi hurriedly left the People's Democratic Party because he knew that there was no chance for him 
to emerge as the presidential candidate under the People's Democratic Party, which he had always wanted. That's why he had to dump the PDP and embarked on a journey to the Labour Party. So he joined the Labour Party. But then when Atiku was making claims on why Peter Obi dumped uh, the PDP, he said Peter Obi was too scared that he was scared that uh, Atiku Abubaka himself was not going to pick him as his running mate in 2023. You know, in 2019, Atiku Abubaka had picked Peter Obi as his running mate to be his vice presidential candidate. But at this point, with all the agitations going around in the Southeast, they were clamoring for the presidency to be zoned to the Southeast. Now they said, okay, we have to do it this way. But then some PDP leaders and stakeholders, they connived with some certain people and Atiku Abubaka and, you know, stood on their ground that, no, the People's Democratic Party would produce a Nortana, which made Nye Sonwike very, very furious, which made other party stakeholders and members very, very furious. They were angry because it felt like a stab at the back. When they have already concluded that, oh, the presidency should be zoned to the south, and Peter Obi knew he cannot contend against Atiku Abubakar. He won't, you know, be able to contend against Atiku Abubakar because Atiku Abubakar is way more powerful than him. And he knew that uh, Atiku Abubakar would not in any way pick him to be his running mate. So that's why he had to leave the uh, the People's Democratic Party for the Labour Party. Just few months to the Labour Party uh, primary uh, presidential primary elections, where he got to emerge as the uh, presidential candidate under the Labour Party. So he had to quit it because there were other factors that were responsible for Peter Obi leaving uh, the People's Democratic Party. Aside the fact that Atiku was going to emerge, there were other, you know, contributions that emerged. So he said, well, he is no longer in the People's Democratic Party since he saw what was going wrong there and he decided to leave the party for the Labour Party. Now, the APC, they are using this on this ground that... Peter Obi is not a bona fide member of the Labour Party. Someone that just decamped from the PDP to the Labour Party just a month to their primary elections. How can you call that person a bona fide member of the Labour Party? No, that is not possible. So my country people, the All Progressive Congress, they have made their stand that Peter Obi has no right whatsoever to come and challenge Tinibu, who is a bona fide member of the All Progressive Congress, but then Peter Obi who is nobody from anywhere, just all of a sudden emerged under the Labour Party and then he became the presidential candidate. So guys, what are your thoughts concerning this? This is really getting interesting. I'm sure there are going to be more evidences com uh, coming out from the election tribunal as Tinibu is set to defend his mandate in court. I'm dropping here guys. Kindly share your thoughts in the comment section. Thank you. Bye for now.